Hey guys, GameBoy3800 here once again for Confident Gaming, back playing more GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto V, Grand Theft Everything, Grand Theft Loading, most importantly, because of 10 minute load times. Either way, we're back doing some more dirt cheap drag racing and we're going to get another vehicle. But this time it'll be in the armored section. And it is right here, if we take a look at... The thing here, we get a perfectly colored Duke of Death. How could I say no to a site like that? So we've already got our super, super orange Duke of Death. We're going to go ahead and upgrade it as best we can. Now this is a very heavy vehicle, but that can be a good thing in the fact that... Oh can be a good thing in the fact that heavier vehicles can sometimes have a higher top speed and be <laughs> you just shove the car out of the way like it was nothing and because with this drag race mod uh, as long as you can get a wheelie uh, slow acceleration doesn't really matter like you can you saw with the, the voodoo how with that we're able to still pull wheelies and do 16 second runs well, still, that doesn't make it win every time. It still is competitive. So, you know, this vehicle can definitely wheelie. Because the normal Duke can, of course, wheelie really, really well. So, thankfully, it's not too much to upgrade this vehicle. Just about as much as the Sabre Turbo, actually. Nah, we're going to give it Neon Kits this time. Because why not? Let's make it super orange. Because why not make everything orange? Of Indeed. If you hear any loud noises, it's because it's 4th of July today. Or tonight, whatever. And fireworks. So happy 4th of July. Happy <laughs> wow. I know I'm bad at talking, but that was really bad. Happy 4th of July, if you're watching this, like, four months down the line. <laughs> Gonna get the drag radials here. Little color, where's your orange? Gold. Nah, bright orange. And we already have bulletproof tires, so uh, there is a glitch that I will show off, but I won't take advantage of. And that should be it. There is unfortunately no wheelie bar, so we will have to be careful, but the exhaust pipes are already pointed at the side, so we shouldn't catch on too many things, you know. Uh, where's the plate? Can I change the plate? No, I cannot. Well, I could also get some armor upgrades. I suppose we could go ahead and test if that does any effect. So we will get the armor upgrades and then come back to it later to see if that adds any extra weight and therefore any top speed. Or it could just add to some extra vehicle rigidity. You know, think positive. So for our, you know, our normal uh, everyday testing, we like to take it up to the Sandy Shores airfield here. Because we know how we should do. We should get between 13 and 14 seconds. So like a 13.5 to a 14.5. Also, I like the spotlights up there. There we go. Yeah. So, you will see the glitch with the bulletproof tires. You can probably guess what I'm doing, and you can probably guess what's going to happen. We just need to wait for somebody to challenge us. Uh, 
I uh, didn't get the horn. I figured out the horn. Alright, so when we go back to a shop and change out the thing, we will get the horn as well. And yep, you can see we are at 200 degrees on the tires. They have not bursted. Bulletproof tires do not burst when they get too hot. So you can easily abuse this and not have to worry about popping t your tires. Or a $35,000 race. It's one of the more expensive ones so far. And we can keep making them hotter and hotter for insane launches here. We can actually keep wheeling for the launch. Or keep burning out for the launch. It doesn't make a difference. So, you can see we did really good. This version of the Duke sounds a lot meaner. Alright, so we got just what I said, a 13.5. So yeah, Anyone? the Duke of Death sounds amazing. Like, it sounds just like the normal Dukes, but it has a deeper tone. And the turbo when you shift has a like very audible deep whistle. It's awesome. So the, also a good thing with this vehicle is because it's so heavy, people think it's going to be slow accelerating. So there's a good chance that cars that wouldn't normally accept could could accept. Not the surfer though. That's not going to accept any time ever. Alright, so the Akuruma does accept. No surprise that is a car that usually does accept. Even if it's sorely outclassed. So because we've already heated up our tires to over 200 degrees, we shouldn't need to burn out anymore, but I will anyways, because spirit. Yay. $16,000 race? That's not too bad. I'll leave it as it is. How hot can we get the tires? That's the question. 300, come on. No. Nope, super penalized. <laughs> oh well, I tried. Listen to that turbo. 13.2 is a big penalty. Alright, so who, who around here looks like they will have a lot of money? What are you doing? Idiot. Hmm. Tempesta has accepted. I really have no idea what's going on with that car. I guess I'll just leave him be and kill everyone. Those are both very slow vehicles. Wow. Idiot. Oh, 
All right, well, everyone bet on the Tempesta. They shouldn't have done that. I have no idea what this bet is on, so I at least know I'll win the pot. Very 13.5 again. So this is a very consistently fast vehicle. That was a very cheap race, but I did get the $600 pot. Or no, not $600. How much was that pot? Oh, it was $600. Yay. I can read. Alright, even with 10 billion degree tires, I'm not going to win against a monster, so I'm not going to even try. Premier doesn't feel confident. Oh, well, how about, ooh. That guy. Will you accept? That guy has accepted. Awesome. I'm just gonna not burn out. I'm gonna let my tires cool down here. It will take a while. It will probably take like the next 10, well, maybe not that many, maybe the next three episodes to fully cool down again. Three sixty for temperature. Woo. Go. So you have the higher top speed of the Duke of Death than the regular Duke makes it consistently faster. So you can use you can use this or the Pishwasher Dominator. Either one would work. They're both really fast at a drag race, although at the normal street race, the Dominator would probably do you better. Although, from what I've noticed, is it is harder to control. There goes another Dukes. What is it up against? Target. All right. Seven seventy expects to lose. All right. He has accepted though, so that's cool. What are we up to money wise? One thirty five? Yeah, we're slowly getting our way back up to top dollars. If we only went down like 22 degrees while waiting. Well, $21,000 bet. Can I get that higher? $25,000. Okay. And away I go. What are you doing? Why did you get in that lane? That's my lane. What are you doing? Oh, you lost big time there, buddy. Who's that? Anyone? Alright, I've got to go the long way around, I guess. Or... Yeah, okay. I'll just... 
off-road my way up here, maybe? Nope, not, not a chance. Here we go, I can get up this. Yay! Will this moonbeam want to race? Just for lols? Nope. Hmm, what are you? There's been a lot of Tempestas racing lately. Rip. All right, let's see. Early launch. Yeah. Early launch, we're in our lane. We did jump, but we only jumped once. Wow, 13-0. This can be a 12 second car if I nailed the launch. Too bad there was only a $1,000 race. <laughs> Hey, we got a monster going here. I'm gonna bet on the monster. Come on, before bedtime's up. Yes! And there it goes. I can be a 12 second car, but what about the radius? The monster radius. That is an 11 second car. Wow, that's slower than I thought. I thought that would be a 10 second car. I know that the Flame Saber Turbo is a 10 second car. That Saber Turbo is faster than a monster, wow. All right, I am immediately up on the ramp. Who am I up against? 770 again, does he want his money back? Where are you going? You're right there. Dumbass. All right. Oh, there's a lot of bets this time. Early. Nope, right on the dot. We, we were right on the dot. Got no weird jitter, jitter thing. But because we weren't early, that was a 13 7. Oh well, I guess that'll do it for this episode. We got another Dukes. Uh, we can go ahead and test in the next episode whether having the body armor on or off makes a difference. I don't think it will. One thing for sure though is I will uh, <laughs> bet on the monster, not the voodoo. And then we will end the episode. In like fact, my car may be in the way of the voodoo. Who cares? Nope, not quite in the, in the way, but... <laughs> there it goes. There goes the voodoo. Hopefully nobody bet on that. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. That is a, a horrible Primo Custom. Thankfully, that's a horrible video as well. Alright, so. Hey, sorry. So that'll do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed me getting $11 right there. And the Duke of Death. Then please go ahead and leave a like. Favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gamebrayer. I'll see you in the future.